Hey, what's going on guys? So continuing on, now we're gonna be having a look at titles and graphics. And the way I'm gonna go about starting this section is just by quickly running through how to create a basic title graphic and also starting to take a little look and a little overall peep into the templates that Premiere Pro actually provide for you that are amazing. And personally, I love these templates because I can take this template, make it, even better and just use that as almost the base of what I'm doing instead of maybe the more traditional text tool which a lot of people are using. But without further ado, let's jump into it. So first up, when I actually started introducing you guys to the layout at the very beginning of this course, I uh, directed your information to these guys up here. These are obviously your different sections of the program and I advised you if you're ever lost to stay in editing or assembly because these two are your composition sections where you're actually mainly going to be doing the majority of your editing piecing together and overall all your little adjustments but now we're going to be actually taking a look into these guys and I did tell you guys that all of them serve a very specific purpose so we're not going to be doing them sequentially we're actually going to be taking a big jump over here to graphics clicking on that and working through and you see as soon as I click on graphics we are greeted with the essential graphics and Premiere Pro actually do an amazing job of providing sort of every little type of graphic overlay or caption subtitle credit lower third any of these title or uh, more pre-made graphic stuff okay and um, personally, if I were actually to be going about creating a basic title, what I would simply do is I'd be on editing, of course, because this is where I stay most of the time. And I would just jump over to graphics and drag over this basic title preset template that they offer you. And I would just drag that right in here. And the great thing about dragging this one here is that it's uh, actually going to kind of pop up already with text there opposed to you actually using the text tool um, but the thing is is if we actually create this t uh, title here and um, if we click on it you see if we're not clicked on it there's no specifications coming up over here but as soon as we click on it we have all of these specifications and these are the controls essentially of this particular text these are essentially the same as effect controls but these are all the little tweaks and in fact if you go over to effect controls when you're highlighted on a graphic you actually have very similar stuff in your effect controls but if you're opening graphics window it is a little bit nicer of a layout to tweak stuff over here i think but you also have the option to come over to your effect controls and tweak all the specifications of your graphics so for our graphic here let's just go ahead and press t which our which is our shortcut cut to go into the text tool and you see if we were on V which is the all selection tool and we press T um, look down here T it is going to teleport us to that text tool so we can actually use our shortcut that we previously learned about and go ahead and change this title to I'm gonna just change it to title example and I'm actually gonna go ahead and press um, uh, or what just just double click to actually um, highlight all of this or drag and highlight everything there and I'm actually going to go over here to text. This is what I would normally start tweaking when I'm uh, g going about setting up a nicer title graphic. I would usually change to a um, font that I personally like. So for me, I would probably use Gotham. Gotham, I believe, is the font that I'm using to uh, put up titles throughout this particular course as well. I really like this font. And overall, when I'm actually going about creating a title uh, graphic, I would obviously choose a really nice font that I like and um, say also so for example if we were to go over here to our all selection tool and um, say we'd just been doing a little bit of moving around we thought we wanted our title to be down here as a lower third or something like that um, and we want to get that right back into the middle instead of just tweaking that trying to trying to line it up and 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 kind of moving it pixel by pixel to each side trying to get that in the middle Premiere Pro I have a great alignment and transform tool, which is just super, super simple. You can simply go up here to these two icons, the vertical center and the horizontal center, and both of them do exactly what you'd be thinking. If we click that vertical center, it is going to center it vertically, and yep, you guessed it, if we hit the horizontal center, it's centering it horizontally. So that is how at all times, if you were ever, uh, you know, if your text was ever over here or, or you know, any number of situations where you might have lost place, 
your text. Simply get over to your alignment and transform. Go ahead and smack both of these guys. Um, give them a click, and that is going to teleport your text directly to the middle. Likewise, if you were trying to do a slight adjustment, um, you could use some of the same tactics I taught you in the clip dimensions, where you could simply go over to these guys in the position, and um, obviously, uh, you know, start tweaking these guys. If you wanted to bring it down a little bit, you could tweak that. If you wanted to bring it to the sides a little bit, you could tweak that by simply um, hovering over until your cursor changes from this guy to that guy and, and simply dragging about to actually move that over a little bit. But overall, that is a basic title graphic. Of course, um, if we go back over to the text tool, click press control A to actually just highlight everything. Um, down here is obviously uh, m more text specifications. The appearance, for example, um, the fill, we could obviously change that to any number of colors we wanted. You're also, um, you also have the ability to uh, turn on a stroke or a shadow effect. For example, uh, we could turn on a slight stroke, and as soon as you turn that stroke on, it's gonna come up with how big of a stroke you actually want. So for example, we could start dragging that out um, or actually highlight the whole thing, click stroke, so it's going to add a stroke to the whole thing. You do have to be highlighted on everything for it to take effect, and just go ahead and start bringing that out a little bit. You see, we could uh, we could start bringing through a white a white stroke, um, and overall, that's starting to look a little, bit, a little bit nicer. Likewise, we could add a shadow. Shadow isn't really going to pop up for us on a black uh, background. However, if we are to select this, we could go over here and start dragging that upwards to increase the scale. So we could bring that actually up to be quite nice. Go ahead and make sure that's aligned. Pretty much after every new move, I am personally always in the habit of, um, say I you know shrink that down, I'm always going back up here to align to make sure these guys are in the middle. Assuming I'm not working on a project where uh, I'm not actually trying to get these into the middle and I would maybe be uh, going about creating a lower third or something like that, in which case I would be maybe putting that down there or something. But overall, right there is a quick run through of how you can create a basic title graphic. And um, the interesting thing about the, the, the title graphics is... Premiere Pro, like I briefly mentioned earlier, offers so many specifications. So for example, if we didn't just want a title graphic, I want to run you guys through just a variety of the other uh, nice template kind of presets that they give you. For example, you guys see my lower third that comes up at the beginning of every one of these videos. I created that um, in definitely a more advanced way in Premiere Pro than the ones that they give you. However, here is an example of a basic lower third that Premiere Pro can give you where you could drag that in and already they've formulated this and uh, kind of just sectioned it off so we could, for example, edit this and it would be a lower third. For example, here, my name here, I could put uh, Jack, and then my second line right down there, I could actually put, um, is the tutor for this course. Um, <laughs> that's pretty random, but that is the truth of the matter. Jack is the tutor for this course. And of course, this is not the only, um, you know, one of a kind template here. I would thoroughly encourage you guys to uh, check through all of these guys. Personally, I don't use all of these um, basic templates that much anymore. However, I remember when I was first getting into Premiere Pro, I was trying to find as much pre-made stuff as I possibly could, and this stuff actually went on to to help me sort of sort of start formulating my own ideas as to how I would go about creating certain stuff. But this is a very extensive area here, and there is a huge variety of different stuff you could be using. But overall, if you guys want just an insight into my perspective, the only one of these guys that I really pay attention to is the uh, the importing of a basic title wherever that guy has actually teleported to. If I were to go to my um, essential libraries right here and, and, and get my basic title, this is the main graphic that I would ever be going for when I'm in Premiere Pro to actually just be creating a basic title sequence. But that's definitely my two cents and advice to you on the titles and graphics section is to get one of those basic templates and just start building and expanding onto it using the different specifications available to you in the effect controls to just build on top of that template and uh, customize it to your liking.